to let the church say Sunday school lesson for March 31st, 2024. Resurrection, key to faith. Comes out of Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 8. Felicis Pasquas, Escuela Dominicae. Frente uno, Amorzo de 2024. 16, Marcos. Uno al ocho. Amen. Maligayang Pasko Pagkabuhay, Linggo Eskwela March 31 to 24 Susimuling pagkabuhay ng panalantat, panalataya Marcos 16 1 8 Mừng lễ phục sinh Chuyên Chủ Nhật Ngày 31 tháng 3 năm 2024 Chì khóa phục sinh của Đức Tinh Mát Mark 16, and when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Mag Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Solomon, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. Amen. Mark 16, 2. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came to the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. Amen. Amen. Mark 16. Verse 3. And they said amongst themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? Amen. Amen. For and when they when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away. For it was very great. Amen. Right, Amen. Chapter 16, verse 5. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment and they were on Friday. Amen. Amen. Mark 16 verse 6 the King James Version and he saith unto them be not afraid. You seek Jesus of Nazareth which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they had laid him. Amen. From the New King James Version, Mark 16, chapter 6, verse. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. May the Lord have a blessing on the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Amen. Mark 16, 6, authorized King James Version. And he said unto them, Be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. English Amen. Standard Amen. Version, 16 and 6. And he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Amen. All right. Mark 16, 6 out of the Amplified Bible. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See? Here is the place where they laid him. Key verse, Mark 16, 6, NIV. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Mark chapter 16, verse 6, New Catholic Bible. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. 
Behold the place where they laid him. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been risen. Marcos 16, 6. Mas él les dijo, no a ustedes buscáis a Jesús Nazareno, el que fue crucificado ha resucitado. No está aquí, mira el lugar de donde lo le pusieron. Susin Talata, T versus Marcos, Mark 16, 6. Magandang balita, Biblia. Ngunit sinabi ni Jesús a kanya, huwag kayong matakot. Pinahanap niyo si Jesús, ang taga Nazaret na ipinako sa krus na walang siya rito. Siya ay binuhay ng Diyos. Tinanggap niyo ang paglagyanan ng kanyang Amen. 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 Jesus. Mark. Mark. Sao. Mười sáu. Sao. Mark. Mười sáu. Sao. Lu. Việt Nam Mi. Điếp Bộ. Người ấy nói với họ. Đừng sợ. Các bà tìm Đức Duy Su người Ma Sao Ét đã bị đóng đinh. Ngài sống lại rồi Nhưng không còn ở đây Hãy xem chỗ người ta đặt Ngài Khắp sắp khăn Mark 16.6 Chai phụ đoán phụ hoa Giả bẻ chạy lời Phúc thật cảm ơn chạm mong Hà Phật Yêu Sư Chào Nà Sư Rít Phụ thi thuộc Từng môn mái càng khen Phụ ông đã phương khương chí vít Lẽo Phụ ông mà đi thí ni Đủ thờ men han sa til dem vær ikke forferdet dere leter etter Jesus fra Nazaret den korsfestede han er stått opp han er ikke her se der er stedet hvor de la ham Elodie ne vous épouvez encore vous tchèches Jesus et Nazareth qui était crucifié et réussité, il n'est point ici, voici le loup à la veille. Amen. Mark 16, verse 7. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you in Galilee. There shall ye see him. And he said unto you, Mark 8. And they went out quickly fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they thing to any man, for they were afraid. Mark the 16th, Mark the 16th. Now, when Jesus was risen early, the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And the tenth, as he went, and told them that had been with him as they moaned and wept. Amen. Amen. Coming from the New King James Version, Mark chapter 16, verses 11 and 12. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After that, he appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country. Mark chapter 16. Verse 13 and 14. And they went and told it unto the rest of them. Neither believed they them. Afterward, he appeared unto the, the eleven as they sat and meet and um, breaded them with their unbelief and hardness of heart. Because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. This is Amen. Amen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. Amen. Verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Amen. Amen. Chapter 17. In 18 verses and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover 
Amen. Amen. Verse 19. So then after the Lord has spoken up into his, he was received up, up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. Amen. 20, King James Version. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Thought Amen. to remember, fear not, Jesus is risen. Amen. Jesus has risen. Yes. Amen. Fear Amen. Not. Amen. Jesus has risen. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all come on in. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Sunday School lesson. This lesson is for Easter Sunday. So happy Easter, everybody. March 31st, 2024. Uh, thanks to all of our readers. And this time, thanks for our international readers that's coming from even further. So uh, thank you all for the translations. We have extra translations this time, so thank you for that. Uh, the lesson today, as we have seen, is from Mark chapter 16. Uh, the readers went through the entire chapter because it's, it's, it's good. Uh, the entire chapter is the background. The actual lesson is only verses 1 through 8. And some manuscripts stop at that point after verse 8. So anyway, without further ado, we'll have our opening prayer and get into this lesson. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we come to learn more about you through your word. Open our hearts and minds and teach us through this Sunday school lesson. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Magdasal tayo, Ama, linisin mo ang aming mga puso at isipan upang kausang loob na tanggapin ang iyong mga salita. Pagkatapos ay itago ang iyong mga salita na magliligtas sa aming mga puso na hindi kami magkakasala laban sa iyo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kami ay nananalangin. Amen! Lạy Chúa Phục sinh, nơi nào có sự chết, Ngài mang đến sự sống. Chúng ta hy vọng Ngài chúng ta sẽ kinh nghiệm sự sống lại và sự sống mới. Trong khi chờ đợi, xin hãy khích lệ chúng tôi khi chúng tôi cảm thấy không thể công bố tin mừng này. Xin nỗi sợ hãi xâm chiếm chúng con. Xin đừng để chúng con quên rằng Chúa là nguồn sự sống Nhưng danh Chúa giê -xu, chúng con cầu nguyện Amen 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 Ok, thank you for our prayers Ok, uh, the lesson is from Mark chapter 16 And this time we usually do the, uh, the devotion and the background before the lesson But this time it's going to be after the lesson to wrap everything up so verse 1 says, uh, the Sabbath was passed. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. So this is Jesus in the tomb. So Christ died for our sins, and we celebrate Easter as the Resurrection Sunday. So this is that resurrection anniversary that we're looking at, uh, that we celebrate every year. So just for the record, the end of every gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the, the first 8 to 12 verses of every gospel have this same story. So Matthew 28, verses 1 through 10, uh, Luke 24, 1 through 12, John 20, verses 1 through 10. So uh, Mary Magdalene was the, uh, the woman who was, had seven de devils cast out from her. And she was freed. And then once you get to know Jesus, all your way, you're a new creature. You're a new creature in Christ. So out of all the names that's mentioned, that Mary Magdalene is, is really like significant because, hey, uh, he's done a lot for me by casting seven devils out of, out of her. 
So she's grateful and she wants to anoint him. Okay, uh, with, with these other ladies that's, that's appreciative of what Jesus could do. So thank you, Lord, for the powerful women that we even have today. They, they're ready to do things for, for the Lord, to serve the Lord. Verse 2 says, And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came to the sepulcher, a sepulcher at the rising of the sun. So very early in the morning. So the sun just coming out. So this is early. And uh, hey, they, they're getting out this bit because they got something to do for the Lord. They feel like they're going to anoint his body. Verse 3 says, And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher or the sepulcher? And it's like, well, hey, that stone was great. And they did that to seal it uh, because what the chief priest said, let's seal it good so his disciples don't steal him. Well, they didn't steal him. Uh, he rose from the dead. Hallelujah. So uh, so when they looked, uh, verse 4 says, when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, but it was very great. So it's like, well, I guess they say, well, thank goodness for that. So we can just go in there and anoint the body and go on our merry way. I guess that's what they're feeling here. So... Verse 5 says, And entering into the, the tomb, the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a young, in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. So this is where they see an angel of the Lord. Some accounts say two. Uh, this account says one, so we're dealing with the, this account. So one angel, and they saw, and, and hey, you know, you're going somewhere where you feel like you're going to see a, a dead person. I guess the expectations of a dead person will know him and going our way. And hey, they see a live angel <laughs> clothed in a long white robe. So hey, you know, they were startled. Uh, six says, and he said unto them, be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. So this is where all of our faith, all the Christians all over the world regardless of the denomination per se, because it's the world, we're not saved by denomination, but by our relationship with, with Christ. And this is what we believe. Christ has died and Christ has risen. So the angel telling them, hey, you seeking Jesus of Nazareth? Like, hey, why are you seeking the living among the dead? He is not dead. That's why it was a borrowed tomb. You didn't see a tomb where it had inscriptions. Uh, So-and-so was here. Uh, born this day, uh, went on to glory on this day. So, hey, they didn't have all that for Jesus. Nothing was engraved because he knew he wasn't going to be staying there. <laughs> you got to get everybody else on the same page. So, anyway, you see Jesus of Nazareth, and this is the key verse, which was crucified. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. Hallelujah. So, just like our uh, minister said uh, at the end of thought to remember, that's our, our Sunday school superintendent for this church. So we thank you for him. He is risen. That's our message of the day. Uh, verse 7 says, But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There ye shall see him as he said unto you. So while he was before the crucifixion, he told him, Hey, I'll, I'll meet you in Galilee. And out of all the disciples, now he got, what, 12 apostles, right? Uh, minus Judas. Okay, but but hey, uh, then they did replace him in the book of Acts with, with Matthias. So so if y'all hear Matthias, that's the apostle, apostle that was chosen by a lot by the other apostles to replace Judas. Well, anyway, tell his uh, disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There ye shall see him as he said unto you. Tell his disciples and Peter. Well, why Peter? Well, Peter was one that spoke a lot first before all other uh, uh, disciples or apostles. So he was almost like a, a, a ringleader per se, you know. Well, hey, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You know, he was one. Well, let's go fishing. Yeah, well, I'm going to go in the boat and go fishing with you. So uh, when, I, when, I, when the Lord said, well, hey, cast your net on the other side, you know, Peter was the one. On the other side, we've been fishing all night, but not nevertheless, not our will, but thy will. So they cast that net and they couldn't even haul in the fish. It was, it was so many. And uh, they had extra boats helping them. And still, because when the Lord says something and he's speaking, <laughs> uh, well, if he pour out a blessing that we're not able to receive, mm, mm, mm. so y'all remember that when it comes to tithes <laughs> to your church. Hallelujah. So 
Peter denied him three times. So this was uh, special that Peter knows that he is risen. Peter. So if they have any doubters out there, hallelujah. They, they get special mention because what? The, for that one lost sheep, the Lord will go out his way. Lead the 99 to go find, to go find that one. Because that's how we are. If we're missing one thing. So, so hey, Peter was kind of lost there with denying Christ three times. But, but hey, we, we are right. Christ knew him. You know, he's, he's full of mercy and forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah. For, for all our doubts. Verse 8 is the last one for the lesson. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulcher, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Amen. So they, they had the charge. Uh, the angel told them, well, go tell, go tell. Go tell what you have found, that he is risen. He is risen. So deliver the message. So the ladies, when they did deliver the message to the disciples, and that's where the, uh, the background scripture come in, but it's the rest of Mark. Now, a lot of manuscripts, they stop right there at, verses, at verse 8. Uh, they, they stop there. But uh, our uh, gospel of Mark, it, it continues 9 through 20 in the remaining verses. Uh, for the study Bible, Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene, so 9 through 11. And uh, verse uh, part 3 is Jesus appears to the two disciples. And they don't even say what the disciples' names are, but they say it another form. So sometimes we entertain angels unaware, but suppose you entertain in the Lord because you don't recognize him. Because we don't have a real uh, picture of him. Sometimes, you know, people post these pictures, but there is no picture uh, of the Lord. And the, the last one is verses uh, 14 through 20, and that's the Great Commission where he, the Lord charges us, uh, go ye out into all the lands, uh, baptizing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, uh, baptizing. So, baptizing uh, is literally and symbolically not only cleansing, but also dying and rising again. So that's where the devotional reading comes in. The devotional reading for today is what? Is Exodus chapter 14. And from the study Bible, all 30 of those verses fall under the heading of crossing the Red Sea. So when uh, the Lord freed the Israelites, Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go. The Lord said, let my people go. So once Pharaoh finally let the people go after the... Uh, so remember, uh, we recall the Passover. The Passover is where, okay, uh, the Lord had the Israelites put that blood over their doors. And if the, if, the, uh, if the death angel saw that blood on the door, he passed over that door. Hallelujah. But Pharaoh and his people didn't know anything about it. So all the firstborn of the, of the people and of the animals died all the firstborn so uh the passover is a big event and it's celebrated through this day uh in the jewish community so anyway uh the passover but when they got to the red sea uh they were trapped so the army was on one side and the, and the red sea on the other side and what happened the lord opened the red sea so that the israelites could pass through as the israelites pass through they're going into the sea but then they're coming out so for baptism, we're going into the water, and then we're coming out. And baptism is a surrendering. So when a, when a priest or the man of God baptizes you, you're going into the water, and you're surrendering. So uh, for some of you guys that have military exercises and stuff, you know, if you fall backwards, oh, it's, it's like a sense of, I don't know, a sense of total surrender because you really depend upon the person behind you, uh, the person, so it's one or two behind you, that's going to catch you. And just for that, just for those few seconds, you know, it feel like, wow, you know, like you have zero control. But that's what we want to do. We want to give the Lord the control of our life. He's got to be the captain. And when we when we dipped in that water, it's a cleansing. So, you know, of course, the Catholics look at it as, okay, that, that original sin that we born in. And even David in uh, Psalms 51 say we born in shape and in iniquity. Okay, we cleansing that away so we can start a new life in Christ. So when we come up out of that water, whoo, it's in the newness of, of Christ. So we encourage everybody who's not baptized, 
you know, be, be baptized, water baptized, hallelujah. It's a cleansing, hallelujah, and come out with a new life. But bottom line, we want to know how to call on that name of the Lord. He who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So in time of trouble, he shall hide thee. He's a great God and greatly to be praised. So this is the foundation for our faith that, hey, uh, we see the body is dead and deteriorating or whatever. But hey, that's not the last. We body, soul, and spirit. So where will our soul and spirit go for the eternity? And that's that's what we, why we making the sacrifices that we do. Hey, get our little Sunday school, get our little word from the Lord, because that's important. We need to feed that spirit man as we take our daily walk of life. We thank the Lord for his word because man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Thank you, Lord, for resurrection day, for an uh, 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 important day in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. We'll have our final prayer. Let us pray. God of resurrection, where there is death, you bring life. We hope for the day when we will experience resurrection and new life. In the meantime, encourage us when we feel we cannot proclaim this, this good news. When fear overtakes us, keep us, from get, keep us from forgetting that you are the source of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Déjanos rezar. Dios de la resurrección, donde hay muerte, tú traes vida. Esperamos el día que experimentamos la resurrección y la nueva vida. Mientras tanto, animamos cuanto senti sentimos que nos podemos pro proclamar esta buena nueva. Cuando el miedo nos invida, evita que olvidemos que tú eres la fuente de la vida. En el nombre de Jesús, oremos. Saltayo, Dios muling pagkabuhay. Kung saan may kamatayan, ikaw ang bibigay ng buhay. Umasa tayo sa araw na maranasan ng ating muling pagkabuhay at bagong buhay. Samantalang pagsiglahin mo, pagsiglahin mo ang kapag kapag sa tingin ng amin ay hindi namin maipapahayag mabuting balita ito. Kapag hinabot kami ng takot, iwasan mo kaming kalimutan na ikaw ay pinagmumulaan ng buhay. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kami inalangin. Hãy cùng cầu nguyện lạy Chúa Phục sinh nơi nào có sự chết Ngài mang đến sự sống Chúng ta hy vọng Ngài chúng ta sẽ kinh nghiệm sự sống lại và sự sống mới Trong khi chờ đợi, xin hãy khích lệ chúng tôi khi chúng tôi cảm thấy không thể công bố tin mừng này Xin nỗi sợ hãi xâm chiếm chúng con Xin đừng để chúng con quên rằng Chúa là nguồn sự sống Nhưng danh Chúa giê -xu, chúng con cầu nguyện AMEN <cười>
And uh, thanks to you all uh, for reading the scripture, for uh, translations, extra translations, uh, for our prayers, and for helping behind and in front of the camera. So thank you all for, for your help to make the Sunday School go forward. Uh, thank you all. Salamat. Gracias. Hallelujah. Thank you. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to you guys who don't already subscribe. And please join us for next week's lesson. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Bona Pasqua. Well, what does that mean? Happy, Happy Easter. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church